In recent years, horrific mass shootings and gun-related homicides have torn apart families and communities across the country. Numbers show that Americans support sensible gun safety measures. But even in the face of tragedy, certain elected officials have failed to act. And believe it or not, gerrymandering is partially to blame. Gerrymandering is when districts are drawn to unfairly favor certain politicians. But gerrymandering is more than just a map rigging process. It has real world impacts on the issues people care about. One of those issues is gun violence. Take the notoriously gerrymandered state of North Carolina, for example. 58% of North Carolinians think that gun laws in the state are not strict enough. But thanks to gerrymandering, the Republican-controlled legislature refused to allow a vote on a bill that would temporarily remove guns from a person who poses a risk of harm to themselves or others. In 2018, Democrats in North Carolina won 51.2% of the votes cast for major party state House candidates. But even though they got a majority of the votes in the House and the Senate, Republicans won a majority of the seats. And that's all thanks to, you guessed it, gerrymandering. And it's not just North Carolina. In Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin, the party that won a majority of the votes didn't receive the majority of the seats. All of them failed to pass legislation that would protect the public from gun violence. To help stop gun violence, we need to stop gerrymandering, and we know how to do it. Step one is to put independent commissions in charge of drawing the districts, not politicians. Step two is to require commissions to draw voter-determined districts, districts where politicians only win if they actually have the votes. So if a party gets 50% of the votes, they also win 50% of the seats. That's democracy, a system of government where voters choose the politicians, not the other way around. Share this video if you think districts should reflect the will of the voters, not politicians.